Are you tired of feeling like you're not living up to your fullest potential? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can glow up in less than one week. Now, this journey is going to be different for everyone. You really have to focus on what you feel is holding you back and what you can actually change. Firstly, I want to say if you're watching this video, you are already beautiful just the way you are. Everyone has insecurities, including myself, and some insecurities we can change and some we can't. So I'm going to share with you some tips that have helped me and I'm sure will help you too. So let's get right to it. So first up is skincare. I want you to establish a simple routine that you can actually keep up with. This should consist of at least the three basics, such as cleanser, toner, and then a face moisturizer. I'm going to be popping up some of my favorites that I currently use. Some of them are really just old reliables. And if something's not broken, why fix it, right? A lot of us need to realize that your skin is similar to any other part of your body, such as when you work out your physique or when you eat certain different foods. You don't want to be putting new things on your face every time you're trying something new. Your skin, just like any part of your body, is going to experience shock. You know what I mean? If you're going to be applying new products every other week, your skin is not going to know how to react and how to find that equilibrium, you know, that balance where it knows what to expect and it's in full harmony. And also, please don't forget sunscreen. It's very important for all people of all races. You have to protect your skin from those dangerous UV rays and make sure that you're glowing and not aging due to sun exposure. Now, if you feel like you have more than the usual in terms of acne and have real difficulty with your skincare, then I do suggest you speak to a dermatologist and see if they can recommend some products that would be just right for you and your skin type. Tip number two, glow from within. A lot of how we feel and look has to do with what we're putting into our bodies. So it is so important that you nourish your body with fresh fruit, lots of water, and just an overall balanced diet. If you're doing certain things like having a lot of soda and a lot of caffeine, that can attribute to skin breakouts due to the high levels of sugar and caffeine within those drinks. So try switching to water, and I do suggest using flavored packets if you have to, do what you gotta, and just make sure you're taking in more water. Try to cut out some of your processed foods and replace them with fresh fruit. It takes no time at all to prep fresh fruit and it's so delicious. So just find which ones are your favorite and try to have them in your home at all times. Next thing is establish an everyday makeup routine and also have these on hand as you travel throughout your daily life. I highly recommend that you experiment with different makeup looks that will enhance your natural features and see what works for you. Most of my life I've gotten away with just three simple makeup items. That's face powder, mascara, and some lip gloss. Face powder will help give you an even skin tone and then mascara will help brighten your eyes to make it look like you didn't just wake up five minutes ago. So I love always using mascara. And then last is lip gloss, because if your lips aren't shiny, what are you doing? <laughs> Shout out to my girl, Esther. Otherwise, feel free to implement different things into your makeup routine based on your preference, such as blush or highlight, and maybe even some brow gel. Moving on, we have hair care. So for this category, I want you to deep condition as much and as often as you can, preferably every single wash day. Now, especially for my brown girls, but this can also apply to other races, try to wear protective and maintainable hairstyles. There are so many options that are available. You could do wigs, braids, twists, quick weaves, U-parts, clip-ins. The options are endless. Also, try to invest in items that will make your life and hair care easier. When it comes to hair extensions, do not cheap out and go for something a little more expensive that you know will be quality. This will last you so much longer than any cheap hair that you're thinking about buying. 
Now, when it comes to actually maintaining the hair and maintaining your hair, get items that are easy to use, such as maybe a Rev Air or a Wavy Talk or even a Dyson hair blow dryer. All these items will make taking care of your hair and wash day so much easier along with styling. Whatever you choose, just do what works best for you and your hair needs. When it comes to levels of manageability and maintainability, choose a style that you're most comfortable with on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's move into wardrobe. I want you to identify key items that you think can update and elevate your overall style. Try to invest in timeless, versatile, and quality pieces. When shopping, you should make sure that what you purchase is at least two of these things. And don't be afraid to mix and match your style and outfits based on your personality and how you're feeling for that day. I love having different options because not all the time do I want to be a super girly girl and not all the time do I want to be in sweats, but there's definitely days where I want those things. <laughs> so make sure you have pieces that can allow you to explore different aspects of your style on any given day. Bouncing off of wardrobe, we have one of our most important categories, accessorize. There's so much we can do to elevate a look. Think from head to toe. We can do hats, scarves, shades, necklaces, earrings, rings, <laughs> watches, belts, bags, and even anklets right from head to toe. Think of different ways you can implement jewelry to elevate your piece. I was never big on accessorizing growing up and my mom used to make the biggest deal out of it, saying, where's your jewelry? Or telling herself, oh my gosh, I feel so naked without my jewelry and literally running upstairs to get her earrings or her necklace. But now that I'm older, I totally understand where she was coming from. I do not want to leave the house without having a nice dainty piece of jewelry around my neck and accessorizing my ears to the least with some earrings. When shopping for some of these pieces, look at your local TJ Maxx. You can check on Amazon and also Shein has a lot of affordable jewelry pieces. Now, when you buy jewelry, the price does usually reflect the quality of the piece but try not to go overboard on, on what you're spending. Especially at TJ Maxx and Amazon, those pieces you can check reviews or can trust will last you a good amount of time. Now, if you just want some jewelry to try things out, I do recommend trying Shein. They have jewelry for pennies on the dollar. However, those will most likely tarnish, so be sure to take care of them and wear them sparingly. Tip number seven, nails. I'm not too much of a stickler on this one. I took a break from nails at a period in time, so don't feel like you need to do this. But when my nails are done, you can't tell me nothing. I 100% feel like that girl, okay? There's just something about it as you grab things and as you pose. That just makes you look so dainty. I just, I'm honestly obsessed. Now this can be a pretty pricey maintenance item to upkeep. So that leads me to my next tip, DIY beauty care. For my budget conscious girlies, try doing your self care at home. Think at home mani pedis, at home wax, and also even at home lashes. I myself am always trying to save a coin or two. Being raised by a single mom, we did not always have a lot of money for extracurricular things. I did not always have the ability to get my hair done and get my nails done all the time. And I wish I knew these tips when I was growing up. That way I could constantly look my best without putting a financial burden on my mom. Regardless if you're being raised by a single parent or not, these will save you so much money if you just do them at home. And you'll be so surprised that you can probably do any style you want, how you want it, while saving money. Nothing's worse than getting your nails done or your hair done and at the end you don't even like it. So why not just skip all that mess and do it yourself at home? That way you can do things like save up for college, pay off debt, and more important things. Now, tip number nine. 
This one can be so simple and so easily overlooked at the same time. Get good sleep. It's so hard to feel your best day to day when you wake up feeling groggy and nauseous from just not having enough sleep. How do you expect to feel your best when you're constantly sleep deprived and maybe have bags under your eyes because you're not getting any rest? At the end of the day, do what works for you. In high school, I was able to run off of six hours a day and just do what I had to do and start the cycle all over again. Now, that's not the case. I would like my full eight hours of sleep or else I'm probably gonna be a little off for the day. <laughs> now, I personally don't get hangry, but I do get sleep hangry, <laughs> if that's what you call it. Whatever it is, do not play with my sleep. That, that's all I ask of you, please. <laughs> Tip number 10, build up your confidence. Do things like practicing self-love, looking in the mirror, giving yourself positive affirmations, and truly loving who you are. Next, I want you to have a playlist that gets you going day to day. Something that makes you feel good, energized, and that girl, okay? Then walk around the place listening to that music. <laughs> For me, it was always Nicki Minaj or something super upbeat that I would just strut into school listening to. And in my head, everyone around was looking at me and I was the center of attention. Meanwhile, I had my headphones in and I wasn't looking at anyone. I was just walking with confidence. And when it comes to your posture, make sure that you're up straight, shoulders back, and walking with confidence, okay? So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found some of these tips helpful. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.